Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I just got home from running errands all day basically. We did some Christmas shopping, um, some grocery shopping. I just needed a few things because I'm gonna wait till Christmas is over and then kind of like figure out a meal prep situation and just kind of get things going the way I want to go. I want them to go for the new year, but I figured I'd show you a couple of things because I was kind of excited about a couple things that I found. I did pick up a rotisserie chicken for dinner so that tonight would be easy. And I'm trying to think. I think my, shit. I showed you guys these earlier, but we went to the German bakery. And these are my favorite. We used to get these all the time when I was growing up because it was super close to our old house. So that was super fun and nostalgic for the holidays. Got a couple gifts to put under the tree. We went to TJ Maxx, we went to the mall. We went, where else did we go? Home Depot, then we went to Costco and then I ran into BJ's because Costco doesn't have everything all the time, but let me show you. This is just a few of the things I kind of started putting stuff away. We got all of like the dry goods, like paper towels. I got tomato paste like some of the more boring stuff, but I was super excited. They had this new poppy pack. So this is 20 bucks for, might've even been less than that. Maybe like $18.99 for a 15 count. Like that's such a good deal. So if you have Costco and you like poppy, they had this pack and another pack. So this one has the dock pop, the grape and the root beer. I think the other one was like the strawberry lemon, like those types of flavors, which is what I usually get, but was excited to see a new one. And then I've been really wanting to try kimchi. I think I've had it before, I can't remember, but I liked that these were these little 12 single serve pouches, just in case it's not really my thing and I can like give them to my mom. These I found at Costco. I used to drink these all the time when I lived in my apartment. Um, 20 grams of protein, I would kind of drink these after working out, kind of as like a protein shake, which is basically what it is. Um, but I just like that it's Greek yogurt, has a little other benefits, you know, your probiotics and stuff. I didn't realize I put this in my BJ's pickup order too, so we're kind of gonna have a lot of yogurt. But Ryan will drink the Stonyfield ones. I know he won't drink those. They're not sweet enough. And then I did grab a rotisserie chicken for dinner, like I said. Needed some garlic, some ketchup, some cheeses for fondue. I love that they have this 18 count of pasture raised eggs. I will say, I love these. I mean, an egg is an egg sometimes, but they're not quite as dark of a yolk as the Vital Farms. And then I picked up these chicken meatballs. I feel like this would be good for some meal prep. Easy, um, and you can do anything with them, like tzatziki bowls, do them like Greek style, literally use them for spaghetti, like just a bunch of different stuff I can do with those. And then I got three pounds of grass-fed ground beef. And then I saw that they had grass-fed uh, stew meat. And I've been wanting to make a beef stew. And I never see grass-fed in that. So I grabbed that. And then we're trying this grass-fed milk for the first time while Ryan is. Since I don't really use that. And then I got two things of coffee. I love that they sell this at BJ's. Probably can barely see. But this is all the other random stuff. I got these white rice pouches and then some stuff I got at the store. I did really good though. I did not shop for myself except one pair of sweatpants. That is everything I've been up to today. It's already 5.40, which isn't too bad. I did leave pretty early, so it's definitely been a long day, but I need to get all of this away because it's been probably far too long. And then I need to wrap a couple of the things I got Ryan today because he's like a toddler that wants to peek around the corner at everything that you're wrapping because he can't stand it. So I'm gonna take care of that. And then I think I just wanna like sit down and relax for a minute. It's Christmas weekend, I'm so, so excited. Sunday we're doing pictures, like professional pictures with my dad's side of the family. And then I'll see them for Christmas Eve. And then we do Christmas day at my house with just my parents and Ryan, of course. So it's gonna be a fun weekend. I just cut up the rotisserie chicken and put a bunch of stuff away. I'm so behind on this thing, so we're just gonna open all of them. I think I got to, looks like six or seven. 
So we have fig cardamom. I want to maybe, maybe I'll make thumbprint cookies tomorrow. Ooh, this one sounds good. Caramel cinnamon. I bet you that would be good on like vanilla bean ice cream. I'm hoping to get to some baking tomorrow. I don't know which, what this is. Quince spread? I have to look that up. It almost looks like a, a pear on the back. Strawberry guava. Mango raspberry lime. Aw, cherry Christmas. That's the last one. That's super cute. I do have a bunch of English muffins. I think I just need to pull those out and these would be really good. But that was fun. I like doing this. I feel like it, it's gonna inspire me to, you know, do some different cookies or find some different stuff to do with this and then I can save some for charcuterie boards. It says they're all good till 2025, so. Ryan had the outside of his motorcycle painted. So once he gets home, we're gonna go do that. I did wrap a few of the things. So we're looking a little bit fuller. I did, I think I showed you guys last time, I tried to leave some space for Smokey, but I kind of lost uh, the aesthetic of the presents because I just kind of had to fit with what I needed. And I kind of tried to stack a bunch of stuff back here so it was out of the way, but these look cute, but you know, it is what it is. Then we'll just slap a big bow on my Christmas gift because we're not gonna use a whole roll of wrapping paper to wrap that given I already know what it is. I never got my garland out. It is what it is. It was a, a busy December this year. So next year I have to prioritize a little bit sooner and kind of get all that stuff down at Thanksgiving versus waiting a couple weeks in and obviously travel I didn't know was coming, but. guys i just got home from running a couple errands just had to run to publix and then i stopped at the dollar store i didn't want to go all the way to target to look for some cookie tins christmas eve we typically do fondue this year i'm going to my cousin's house so we're going to do fondue christmas day so i got strawberries and bananas for the chocolate fondue and then for cheese fondue, I got some sourdough and some broccoli. My mom's picking up the pumpernickel. I already have green apples. Green apples and cheese fondue is so good. And then I just needed a couple cards and a gift card. And then I was kind of light on Ryan's stocking. I got him some stuff from Home Depot that was like a little bit more expensive, but I just felt like he just didn't have a ton of stuff so i just grabbed he uses a comb in his car and that comb is so old and then some pimple patches because he loves those and some gum and i think that was it let's see oh i did grab i'm determining if i want to make rugla today and if i do i needed some apricot preserves for that but if not i'll use that in anything and then my little classic potato pancake so i need to get all this way i'm gonna wrap and do that I need to wash these tins so that i can put cookies in them to prep that in preparation for christmas day i do need to do a little bit of cleaning clean the bathrooms vacuum mop dust you know the usual so we're just kind of doing a little bit of prepping today nice to have this saturday before christmas eve to like get that type of stuff done so that christmas eve isn't like a disaster and i'll probably probably tomorrow i'll like prep some of the stuff that we'll need for fondue i need to shred the cheese and all that stuff but we're making strides over here we're almost done with christmas stuff i think this is everything now it's so hard is it hard for you guys to shop for your dad because 
he doesn't need anything. He won't tell me what he wants. He has a million shirts, a million hats. It's like impossible to think of what to get him. So I like to bake stuff and then I get him a gift card and just call it good. I have been cleaning all morning. It's almost 11. I'm almost done. I just need to wipe and disinfect all my counters in the kitchen and just kind of like clean up stuff that's sitting around. Quick, easy breakfast today. And then tomorrow I'll probably make a more elaborate breakfast for Christmas. Literally running so late, but I just put a little bit of makeup on and we were told to dress in neutrals. I really wanted to wear the red like Christmassy sweater that I got from Zara, but we're having family pictures taken. We're meeting at a park and then we're going to my cousin's house. I need to go, otherwise she is gonna yell at me. And I have to grab my secret Santa gift and then the stuff that I brought, so. This should be fun being with the whole family though. Wow. We're going to Nashville. <laughs> I'm home from Christmas Eve dinner at my cousin's house. It was so much fun. I literally took like no clips. I was just enjoying time with my dad's side of the family. It was so much fun. Ryan came. We just had a good time. But now Santa's coming. We're doing stockings. I have Ryan's stocking stuff. And then my mom's. This is all Ryan's. That I need to fit in here. I saw a video the other day that people don't wrap stocking stuffers. So I'm curious, do you guys wrap yours? Because I feel like that's literally part of the fun, you know? I'm not even sure all this will fit, so. Stockings are the most <laughs> fun for me. I feel like they're the most exciting and just really, kind of show what you know about the person, you know, that they like. Play around with all the flavors. <laughs> <laughs> 